For more, let's welcome Steve McMahon, co-founder and CEO of a bipartisan political consulting firm, Purple Strategies. Got nothing to do with Barney or anything, Steve? We've talked about this that. Just a red and blue. It's red, red and blue, blue. Joe. Red and uh, blue. Mixing together. Um, we've had our discussions in the past. They're kind of a little more. I think it's a bluish purple with you. Is it really? <laughs> well, uh, uh, it depends uh, who, come it on. Depends who you're talking to. It's, <laughs> there's plenty of red and purple and a lot of blue, too. Right? You it's learned it in shades. elementary school and kindergarten. Shades. I, didn't learn, I guess I, I, I messed that part up. Um, this part today, right now, is blue. Yes. This, okay. Uh, what do you make uh, of, of the whole Bloomberg uh, effort here? Is it, is it ultimately going to be successful in a party that has been vilifying billionaires? It's a tough road. road well, so tough first road. of all, I think he's... First of all, I think he's trying to get into Donald Trump's head because, you know, Mike Bloomberg has $60 billion and Donald Trump has something probably much less than that. But secondly, I think he's trying, as Andrew said, to introduce himself on an issue that matters to a lot of voters in the Democratic Party. And third, I think he's trying to address what has kind of been a weakness, which a lot of people have said Mayor Mike, like Mayor Pete, doesn't do well among African-American voters. And this ad is a really, really powerful antidote to that because it's a story of an African-American kid who was a football player and who was dreaming of playing in the NFL and his life was cut short by gunfire. And this is an issue where Mike Bloomberg actually has a record and has spent a good deal of money previously and it's one, obviously, in our party that matters a lot. I figure Trump will come back with, with uh, you know, African-American unemployment and, and how, you know, we're seeing some gains in, in the lower uh, ends of the wage spectrum and, and all the positive things that we hear in, in his general uh, advertising. I'm sure he will. And, and frankly, the best argument the president has is not the one that's happening on Capitol Hill today. It's the one on the economy, where if you look at the things you just cited, right. there's, a, there's a pretty good story. Um, I think the president is concerned, like a lot of people are, about the GDP growth rate that came out yesterday, which is actually lower than it was under both. Now, you're going to cringe here, Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton. But um, if the economy slows, I think the argument the president's making is going to slow with it. If the economy remains strong like it is today, then I think the argument the president's making is so actually probably the, the best the, the argument. So you're talking about the quarter or the, the year? You're talking about the one year 2019. The you're talking about the one year 2019 growth rate versus the average for, for Carter and Clinton. Yes, Because the average is probably high. For the average of the first three years, the what, 2.9 and 2.4 in 2000. Well, on another, on another, on another NBC-affiliated network this morning, they were peeling it apart just a few minutes ago, in fact. And, uh, and oh, they were no, on MSNBC. This, You're kidding me. Wait, well, knock, me, saying, knock me but, down with the feather, Steve. Uh, as you get bluer, a, a as you get former, bluer, as your purple turns to almost totally former, blue at, at this point. A Let former me just, Republican oh, congressman. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the, the other thing I guess I, I, I wanted to ask, uh, uh, about this is it, it, you've got Citizens United. I mean, that's like the, right. they, they, they march, the Democrats. Money in politics, money in politics, Citizens United, billionaires. How does that, so it's okay that a guy with $60 billion decides I want to be president, I'm going to buy no. myself a, No. Why not? Why isn't it? No, it's that, not okay. It's not okay. Well, well that's it's, what he's it's doing, is okay he not? Under, well, it's okay under the current Supreme Court ruling under Citizens United to do this. But if that's I where the energy is, you, know, you see my point. Bad. If that's where the energy is, why do you think that the, the center of the Democratic Party is going to embrace a billionaire trying to use money to buy the presidency? Well, I, so you have to separate those two things. I think money in politics is something that is kind of a reality today, and you can't control it and you can't stop it. So you're either going to go with the flow or you're going to, you're going to disarm. I do think that a billionaire in the Democratic Party running for the nomination is a problem and a challenge. And I think Mike Bloomberg hasn't yet met that challenge because he hasn't been in a debate. He hasn't, he hasn't you know, really done a lot of television interviews. And he's going to have to answer a lot of these questions. So I don't think it's going to be an easy road for him. But he's, it's going to be a road that lasts as long as he wants because he's got $60 billion right. to, to spend.